Hey, what's up? Welcome to Homemade Volts. I'm Brian. That guy back there is Seth. We're here at Seth's uh, newly acquired property and we're measuring the flow rate of the creek that goes through his property. We are planning on putting a micro hydro or some sort of hydroelectric system in his water supply so that he can have renewable energy. And we thought we'd show you how we measure the flow rate of this creek. It's really easy. All you need is a five gallon bucket. What Seth is doing here is he's clearing out a path to a little spigot where his water supply is all localized into one little stream. Because that's where he's going to catch it with that bucket. So you want, we tried to find a little place earlier upstream and you can kind of dam off the area with some plastic and, and rocks. But uh, for, our, uh, for our project here, it just didn't quite, didn't quite measure up. So we found a little place where there's a giant cement pipe that kind of localizes all the water into one spot. Good job, Seth. Good job. So we're gonna see how many gallons per minute this water supply will give us. To do that, we're gonna fill up that five gallon bucket that Seth has, and we're gonna time how long it takes to fill that up. So once we have that amount of time, we can divide that into one minute and get how many gallons per minute we have. Two seconds, isn't it? I'd say three. three. Yeah. Let's get another one. See how fast I can get it in there. One, two, three, four. Four seconds. Let's get one more. All right. One, two, three, four, three. three. Yeah, three to four. Because we're missing some of the water. Yeah. Sweet. So here's the formula to find how many gallons per minute you have. If you've got a five gallon bucket like we do, you're gonna multiply the 60 seconds in a minute by five, that's 300. Then once you've timed how long it takes to fill that bucket, say for us it was three seconds, you're gonna divide 300 by three seconds, which gives you 100 gallons. So we're pulling about 100 gallons in this water supply. So Seth's probably got a good chance of being able to produce some electricity with his water. High five. I don't have any <laughs> outro, so go. Go make your own energy. Go conserve energy. I have no outro for you. I'm off. This is the epic half high five. <laughs> yeah, the epic halfway, the half hand high five. <laughs>